Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mesa Troll. If you have suggestions for future videos, or if there's something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. This video comes from a viewer request. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the VFC button. The VFC button stands for Velocity Feed Control. This button allows you to reprogram the machine's feeds and speeds on an individual process without stopping the machine. This means you can dial in the feeds and speeds on your first part so you are ready to hit cycle start on the second part without stopping to manually reprogram the machine in order to do your second part. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, here's the VFC button right here. And it's active when the machine is running. It doesn't do anything when the machine is stopped. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this toolpath process. And I have in the speeds and feeds right now, 1,000 surface feet per minute on roughing velocity, 1,000 surface feet per minute on finish velocity, 10,000 per revolution on the feed rate, and a surface finish of number seven. So I'm going to show you on the roughing and the finishing pass what the VFC button does for us. So let's go ahead and go to the position screen and then hit cycle start. So right now, we're at 1,000 surface feet per minute and 10 thousandths per rev. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the spindle speed to 120% and then increase the feed rate to 130% and then push the VFC button and it's going to light up. We're at 120 and 130. And we're almost done roughing the part. So I just hit feed hold. The spindle went down to 100% on the override. The feed rate went down to 100%. And now when we go back to the program, it changed the roughing velocity to 1,200 surface feet per minute and the feed rate to 13,000. So that was 30% higher on the feed rate and 20% higher on the spindle speed. So this is needed when we do the auto feeds and speeds, those are based on conservative values and it may not break a chip. So adjust the feeds and speeds on the fly and then push the VFC button, and then it's going to reprogram the machine. So now, let's do the finish pass. So we'll go to the position screen. It shows it's down to 1,000 surface feet per minute. We're gonna kick that up to 1,400 feet per minute. And we're going to change the feed rate 10%. So 100, 140% and 10%. So now let's hit cycle start. So the feed rate right now is 0 0.0043, which is 10% higher than what it was at 0 0.0039. Push the VFC before the machine stops. And if you adjust the speeds, the VFC will turn off. The machine stopped. It's back at 100% on the spindle and 100% on the feed rate. So now let's look at the program. So now on the program, the finish velocity is now 1400 surface feet per minute 
However, the feed rate did not change on this older control because we put in a surface finish of number seven and the feed rate will not override the surface finish feed rate in the program. It'll override it on the feeds and speeds, but the second part will still have the slower feed rate for the finish feed rate on this older machine. On the newer machines where you can type in an actual uh, inches per revolution feed rate, then it will override it. So now we're going to run it once more on the roughing, and then I'm going to show you the VFC button turning off if we adjust the feeds and speeds. So we're going to hit cycle start. And it shows 1,200 surface feet per minute. Now it shows it at 1080. And if we push VFC, it'll light up and keep this number. But if we adjust the feeds or the speeds, it shuts off. So in order to keep the number, you have to push it and then don't play with it until the machine goes to the next process. If you wanted to turn it off and not keep it, then you can adjust it up or down and then the feed rate will not change in the program. So if we want to override the feeds and speeds, we can leave it at 10% over on each one, but if we don't push the button, it'll run the whole program with these overrides in place. And then when the machine stops, the overrides are still at 110% on the roughing, uh, the speed and the feed. On the newer machines that have an override knob for the feed rate, as soon as it does the reprogramming part, the machine goes into single block and stops the machine and has a, a little message here saying feed rate override. And what you have to do is manually override the feed and the spindle speed back to 100% before you hit cycle start, before the machine moves on. Uh, or you can just hit cycle start if you want the second process to have those higher values. So that's how the VFC functions in this machine. And that's how the VFC button functions on this machine and on the newer Mazax as well. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.